went to this fundraiser, and this 11-year-old at um, it's a new charter school, and they're building one in Harlem. And he goes, the best thing my teacher taught me was that I only have the only option is to rise to the top because the bottom is crowded. And that is why I'm by an 11 year old. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's the word. And, and I have that up at my desk because I'm like, if an 11 year old knows it, I should know it. Right? And that motivates me. So it's what, what we each need to do for ourselves to get to that point that you, don't, you can't slack off. There's some time for it. Right. I like that. Yeah, I like that. At 11. <laughs> but I do think about working, I think there needs to be a balance of working home and working, because I think I've seen laziness become, like, when you're working just from home, where you don't have to ever get up and right. go somewhere, yeah. right. or you don't ever have to go and interact with anybody, right. mm -hmm. you kind of come complacent in your right. comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And I think when you have to get up, get out the house, present yourself, sit in a meeting, face to face with someone, you have to actually, you, there's some type of like, okay, well I'm doing something with my life, I'm getting, mm -hmm. I'm not just complacent, mm -hmm. but you start seeing other people like, oh that person just did all this stuff, mm -hmm. okay, well, I gotta, obviously I can't just keep doing what I've been doing for the past mm -hmm. year, yeah. so for me, like, yeah, I can work from home, luckily I've been blessed enough to have an office where I've decorated enough where it's like my home. <laughs> <laughs> But for me, I have to go to the office because for me, it's like, uh, yeah, my father doesn't still that, you know, you wake up and get dressed because you never know who you'll meet that day or you'll never know who might just walk by the office and be like, what does this do? Because right. for one, of his biggest deal came, his first big deal came from just sitting in the office and someone asking, what did you, what do you guys do? And that created his whole start of what he was doing where he was just sitting there, you know, trying to come up with some idea someone came and asked him a question. Mm. So he felt like, you know, if you're just stuck in your house, who's gonna, who, who are you gonna see? Yeah. Who are you gonna mm -hmm. see? Who's gonna ever know what you do? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, and dressing for the part. So when I wake up and get dressed, yeah, I'm going to an office where it's my office. I, I mean, uh, anybody who's working there is working for me, so could I be late? Yeah, but I also realized I have to create myself a schedule where I know I have to be in the office at this time. I need to do something because that discipline and the whole motivation to keep moving. I know for me, I'm too, I'm too creative of a human being to be working in the home, because anything that like flashes by, and you're like, oh, well, now I'm thinking about this, and then I'm on, oh, well, I thought about doing this, and then I'll start talking, then someone will call, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I can talk for now, because I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything. And, because for IBM, we worked at home all the time, which was, you know, sometimes I would just leave my computer on and walk around the house, do other things, get other stuff done, come back when I heard like a chirp on the computer, and like, oh, type up a few things. But so for me, I was like, but when I went, actually got to the office, I felt like, oh, this person's doing this, I'm sharing ideas. For me, I like interacting with people around me. I feel like, even if I'm in the office by myself, I feel like, uh, I'm just gonna go home because this is what. Well, I think we discussed a lot of great things and a lot of ideas and a lot of things that we're going through, um, you know, similar things. And um, I can also relate, you know, being a young person, of course, all of us are here young. Starting in a company, um, you know, in a family business too, it's it's they see you as the boss's daughter or the boss, you know, the boss's children, and and they think you get away with a lot. Like you, you don't do you don't work hard, and you have to prove yourself, and they don't really listen to you because you're young. So I not just in family businesses, I'm sure you know you're feeling that in the corporate world too, because you have to prove yourself as a young leader. Um, now, being that we're young, and you know, our our parents are known for many things like my parent my, my dad is known for the starting the business um your your carib news mm -hmm. so and travelers beach resort um you have to start thinking about what you want to be known for the legacy is what you remember about a person or a country um, it is about a life and living what do you want people to remember about you what do you want to be known for um, i think that's a really heavy question that you should, um, it, not to be answered here, but to, <laughs> to take it home with you and start thinking about that. Start, yeah, start thinking about that and really, you know, put that, start, you know, working at it. Because that's going to take time, you know.